a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Beaker Culture The Bell Beaker Culture. The term was coined by John Abercrombie, based on the culture's distinctive pottery beakers, which he interpreted as drinking vessels. No definitive association with a particular linguistic group has been proven. A Celtic connection has been hypothesized though the Celtic migrations are believed to occur long after the Bell Beaker culture is supposed to have spread over Europe. Some scholars have suggested that the Beakers may have been an older Indo-European group, of which the Celts may have been one part originally. Alternatively the Beaker culture may have been shared among different ethno-linguistic groups, later unified by the Celtic migrations. Introduction the Bell Beaker culture is understood as not only a particular pottery type, but also a complete and complex cultural phenomenon involving metalwork in copper and gold, archery, specific types of ornamentation and shared ideological, cultural, and religious ideas. The Bell Beaker period marks a period of cultural contact in Atlantic and Western Europe on a scale not seen previously, nor seen again in succeeding periods. It can be seen initially as the Western equivalent of the contemporary corded ware culture, though from c. 2400 BC Bell Beaker expanded eastwards over parts of Central and Eastern Europe where corded ware previously thrived. Thus in parts of Central and Eastern Europe, as far east as Poland, there is a sequence from corded ware to Bell Beaker, but this is not the case in Iberia, France, or the British Isles, where corded ware is unknown. It is important to note that underlying the Bell Beaker superstratum existed a wide diversity in local burial styles, housing styles, economic profile, and local ceramic wares which continued. There are two main international Bell Beaker styles, the all over ornamented, patterned all over with impressions, of which a subset is the all over corded, patterned with cord impressions, and the maritime type decorated with bands filled with impressions made with a comb or cord. Later, characteristic regional styles developed. It has been suggested that the beakers were designed for the consumption of alcohol, and that the introduction of the substance to Europe may have fueled the beaker's spread. Beer and mead content have been identified from certain examples. However, not all beakers were drinking cups. Some were used as reduction pots to smelt copper ores, Others have some organic residues associated with food, and still others were employed as funerary urns. They were used as status display amongst disparate elites. Origins There have been numerous proposals by archaeologists as to the origins of the Bell Beaker culture, and debates continued on for decades. Several regions of origin have been postulated, notably the Iberian Peninsula, the Netherlands and Central Europe. Similarly, Scholars have postulated various mechanisms of spread, including migrations of populations, smaller warrior groups, individuals, or a diffusion of ideas and object exchange. Recent analyzers have made significant inroads to understanding the beaker phenomenon, mostly by analyzing each of its components separately. They have concluded that the bell beaker phenomenon was a synthesis of elements, representing an idea and style uniting different regions with different cultural traditions and background. Radiocarbon dating seems to support that the earliest maritime bell beaker design style is encountered in Iberia, specifically in the vibrant copper using communities of the Targus estuary in Portugal around 2800 2700 BC and spread from there to many parts of Western Europe. An overview of all available sources from southern Germany concluded that Bell Beaker was a new and independent culture in that area, contemporary with a corded ware culture. The inspiration for the maritime Bell Beaker is argued to have been the small and earlier Gopos beakers that have impressed decoration and which are found widely around the Targus estuary in Portugal, Torex's late Neolithic precursors in northern Africa arguing the maritime style emerged as a result of seaborne contacts between Iberia and Morocco in the first half of the 3rd millennium BC. U and Ayuk beakers appear to have evolved continually from a pre-beaker period in the Lower Rhine and North Sea regions, at least for northern and central Europe. Furthermore, the burial ritual which typified bell beaker sites was intrusive into Western Europe. Individual inhumations, often under tumuli, with the inclusion of weapons contrast markedly to the preceding Neolithic traditions of often collective 
weaponless burials in Atlantic-slash-Western Europe. Such an arrangement is rather derivative of corded ware traditions although, instead of battle axes, bell beaker individuals used copper daggers. Expansion and Culture Contact The initial moves from the Targus estuary were maritime. A southern move led to the Mediterranean, where enclaves were established in southwestern Spain and southern France around the Gulf du Lion and into the Po Valley in Italy, probably via ancient western Alpine trade routes used to distribute Jadeite taxes. A northern move incorporated the southern coast of Armorica. The enclave established in southern Brittany was linked closely to the River Rhine and Landward route, via the Loire, and across the Gatineys Valley, to the Seine Valley, and thence to the Lower Rhine. This was a long-established route reflected in early stone axe distributions, and it was via this network that maritime bell beakers first reached the Lower Rhine in about 2600 BC. Another pulse had brought bell beaker to CSE Pal Island in Hungary by about 2500 BC. In the Carpathian Basin the bell beaker culture came in contact with communities such as the Viasedal culture, which had evolved partly from the Yamna culture and therefore shared the same type of metallurgy practiced by Belbica metal workers. But in contrast to the early Belbico preference for the dagger and bow, the favorite weapon in the Carpathian Basin during the first half of the third millennium was the shaft hole axe. Here Belbica people assimilated local pottery forms such as the polypod cup. These, common ware, types of pottery then spread in association with the classic Belbica. From the Carpathian Basin, Bell Beaker spread down the Rhine and eastwards into what is now Germany and Poland. By this time the Rhine was on the western edge of the vast corded ware zone. The corded ware culture shared a number of features with the Bell Beaker culture, derived from their common ancestor, the Yamna culture. These features include pottery decorated with cord impressions, single burial and the shaft hole axe. A review in 2014 revealed that single burial, communal burial, and reuse of Neolithic burial sites are found throughout the Bell Beaker zone. This overturns a previous conviction that single burial was unknown in the early or southern Bell Beaker zone, and so must have been adopted from corded ware in the contact zone of the Lower Rhine, and transmitted westwards along the exchange networks from the Rhine to the Loire, and northwards across the English Channel to Britain. The earliest copper production in Ireland, identified at Ross Island in the period 2400-2200 BC, was associated with early beaker pottery. Here the local sulfarsenide ores were smelted to produce the first copper axes used in Britain and Ireland. The same technologies were used in the Targus region and in the west and south of France. The evidence is sufficient to support the suggestion that the initial spread of maritime bell beakers along the Atlantic and into the Mediterranean, using sea routes that had long been in operation, was directly associated with the quest for copper and other rare ore materials. Migration versus acculturation Given the unusual form and fabric of beaker pottery and its abrupt appearance in the archaeological record, Along with a characteristic group of other artifacts, known as the Bell Beaker package, the explanation for the beaker culture until the last decades of the 20th century was to interpret it as the migration of one group of people across Europe. However, British and American archaeology since the 1960s had been skeptical about prehistoric migration in general, so the idea of Bell Beaker folk lost ground. Although recent genetic findings lend renewed support to the migratory hypothesis, a theory of cultural contact emphasizing population movement was presented by Colin Burgess and Stephen Shannon in the mid-1970s. Under the pots, not people, theory the beaker culture is seen as a package of knowledge and artifacts adopted and adapted by the indigenous peoples of Europe to varying degrees. This new knowledge may have come about by any combination of population movements and cultural contact. An example might be as part of a prestige cult related to the production and consumption of beer, or trading links such as those demonstrated by finds made along the seaways of Atlantic Europe. Palynological studies including analysis of pollen, associated with the spread of beakers, certainly suggests increased growing of barley, which may be associated with beer brewing. Noting the distribution of beakers was highest in areas of transport routes, including fording sites, river valleys and mountain passes, 
It was suggested that Beaker folk were originally bronze traders, who subsequently settled within local Neolithic or early Chalcolithic cultures creating local styles. Close analysis of the bronze tools associated with Beaker use suggests an early Iberian source for the copper, followed subsequently by Central European and Bohemian ores. Investigations in the Mediterranean and France recently moved the discussion to re-emphasize the importance of migration to the Bell Beaker story. Instead of being pictured as a fashion or a simple diffusion of objects and their use, the investigation of over 300 sites showed that human groups actually moved in a process that involved explorations, contacts, settlement, diffusion, and acculturation slash assimilation. Some elements show the influence from the north and east, and other elements reveal the southeast of France to be an important crossroad on an important route of communication and exchange spreading north. A distinctive barbed wire pottery decoration is thought to have migrated through central Italy first. The pattern of movements was diverse and complicated along the Atlantic coast and the northern Mediterranean coast, and sometimes also far inland. The prominent central role of Portugal in the region and the quality of the pottery all across Europe are forwarded as arguments for a new interpretation that denies an ideological dimension. A strontium isotope analysis of 86 people from Belbica graves in Bavaria suggests that 18-25% of all graves were occupied by people who came from a considerable distance outside the area. This was true of children as well as adults, indicative of some significant migration wave. Given the similarities with readings from people living on lowest soils, the general direction of the local movement according to Price et al. is, from the northeast to the southwest. Extent and Impact Bell Beaker people took advantage of transport by sea and rivers, creating a cultural spread extending from Ireland to the Carpathian Basin and south along the Atlantic coast and along the Rhone Valley to Portugal, North Africa, and Sicily, even penetrating northern and central Italy. Its remains have been found in what is now Portugal, Spain, France, Ireland, and Great Britain, the Low Countries and Germany between the Elbe and Rhine, with an extension along the Upper Danube into the Vienna Basin, Hungary and the Czech Republic, with Mediterranean outposts on Sardinia and Sicily. There is less certain evidence for direct penetration in the east. Beaker-type vessels remained in use longest in the British Isles. Late beakers in other areas are classified as early Bronze Age. The new international trade routes opened by the beaker people became firmly established and the culture was succeeded by a number of Bronze Age cultures, among them the Unetis culture in Central Europe, the Elp culture and Hilversum culture in the Netherlands the Atlantic Bronze Age in the British Isles and the Atlantic coast of Europe, and by the Nordic Bronze Age, a culture of Scandinavia and northernmost Germany Poland. Iberian Peninsula The Belbica phenomenon in the Iberian Peninsula defines the late phase of the local Chalcolithic, and even intrudes in the earliest centuries of the Bronze Age. A review of radiocarbon dates the Bell Beaker across Europe found that some of the earliest were found in Portugal, where the range from Zambujil and Cerro de la Virgen ran between 2900 BC and 2500 BC, in contrast to the rather later range for Andalusia. At present no internal chronology for the various Bell Beaker-related styles has been achieved yet for Iberia. Peninsula corded bell beakers are usually found in coastal or near coastal regions in three main regions, the Western Pyrenees, the Lower Ebro and adjacent East Coast, and the Northwest, a corded zoned maritime variety, proposed to be a hybrid between Aoc and maritime herringbone, was mainly found in burial contexts, and expanded westward, especially along the mountain systems of the Maseta. With some notable exceptions, most Iberian early Bell Beaker burials are at or near the coastal regions. As for the settlements and monuments within the Iberian context, Beaker pottery is generally found in association with local Chalcolithic material and appears most of all as an intrusion from the 3rd millennium in burial monuments whose origin may go back to the 4th or 5th millenniums BC. Very early dates for Bell Beakers were found in Castelo Velho de Freixo de Numau in Guarda, northern Portugal. The site was located on the summit of a spur, a short-lived first occupation of pre bell Beaker building phase about 3000 BC revealed the remains of a tower, some pavings and structures for burning. 
After a break of one or two centuries, Bell Beaker pottery was introduced in a second building phase that lasted to the Early Bronze Age, about 1800 BC. A third building phase followed directly and lasted to about 1300 BC, after which the site was covered with layers of stone and clay, apparently deliberately, and abandoned. The second building phase was dominated by a highly coherent group of pottery within the regional Chalcolithic styles, representing maritime bell beakers of the local Pentiada decoration style in various patterns, using lines of points, incision or impression. Three of them were carbon dated. To the first half of the 3rd millennium BC, the site demonstrates a notable absence of more common bell beaker pottery styles such as maritime herringbone and maritime lion varieties found in nearby sites like Castanero do Vento and Crasto de Palieros. One non-local bell beaker should, however, belonging to the upper part of a beaker with a curved neck and thin walls, was found at the bedrock base of this second phase. The technique and patterning are classic forms in the context of pure European and peninsular corded ware. In the Iberian Peninsula this AOP type was traditionally restricted to half a dozen scattered sites in the Western Pyrenees, the Lower Ebro, and the Spanish East Coast, especially a vessel at Filomena at Villarreal, Castellón, has parallels with the decoration. In Porto Turau, at Inner Island Teju, a similar vessel was found having a date ultimately corrected to between 2823 and 2658 BC. All pottery was locally made. The lack or presence of bell beaker elements is the basis for the division of Los Millas and Villanova cultures into two periods, one and two. Balearic Islands Radiocarbon dating currently indicates a 1,200-year duration for the use of the Biko pottery on the Balearic Islands, between circa 2475 BC and 1300 BC. There has been some evidence of all corded pottery in Mallorca, generally considered the most ancient bell beaker pottery, possibly indicating an even earlier beaker settlement about 2700 BC. However, in several regions this type of pottery persisted long enough to permit other possibilities. Suarez Otero postulated this corded beakers entered the Mediterranean by routes both through the Atlantic coast and through eastern France. Bell beaker pottery has been found in Mallorca and Formentera, but has not been observed in Menorca or Ibiza. Collective burials in dolmen structures in Ibiza could be contrasted against the individual burials in Mallorca. In its latest phase the local beaker context became associated with a distinctive ornamented bokeek pottery demonstrating clear maritime links with the coastal regions of Catalonia, also assessed to be directly related to the late Cogotas complex. In most of the areas of the mainland bokeek pottery falls into the latter stages of the bell beaker complex as well. Along with other evidence, during the earlier beaker period in the Balearics, circa 2400-2000 BC, as shown by the local presence of elephant ivory objects together with significant beaker pottery and other finds, this maritime interaction can be shown to have a long tradition. The abundance of different cultural elements that persisted towards the end of the Bronze Age show a clear continuity of different regional and intrusive traditions. The presence of perforated beaker pottery, traditionally considered to be used for making cheese, at San Ferrandel Oliza and at Caval Simo, confirms the introduction of production and conservation of dairy. Also, the presence of spindles, at sites like San Ferrandel Oliza or S. Vila de Prof. point to knowledge of making thread and textiles from wool. However, more details on the strategies for tending and slaughtering the domestic animals involved are forthcoming being traditionally associated with the introduction of metallurgy. The first traces of copper working in the Balearics was also clearly associated with bell beakers. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?